You tired of ripping packs, wasting money, not getting anything in return? Well, visit BobMuckCoins.com and use promo code JMAIL for 10% off to get the God Squad you always wanted. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, JMAIL Flow, aka Mr. Let's go bringing y'all, bringing y'all, you know what I'm saying? We're doing some draft champions. I have not played DC this year yet, you know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, I haven't played DC that much yet. Like, I played like three games, I think, just to like see like the rewards you got then i figure out the rewards is only like 20k and like an 83 overall non-auctionable elite or then i was like i'm not gonna ever play draft champs again but then i'm like all right let's just bring back some drafts let's think of some things we can do with these players you know what i'm saying to make it a little more interesting and just to bring a, a little bit more variety get y'all a break from the budget ballers and the god squad i know i've been you know spamming y'all with them videos back to back to back so just to get y'all a break from this series you know so we just have a little bit more variety on the channel so today Need all y'all boys to smack a like on the video. We're gonna do a, you know, the biggest feet draft. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what they say about big feet. No homo. I let them boys have some big cleats on them. You feel me? But that's just how that go. Uh, y'all, some of y'all was thinking nasty. Some of y'all was, y'all, y'all, y'all heads in the gutter. You know, I'm talking about cleats. You know, Nike stuff, as you can see from the thumbnail. And y'all talking about big feet, big, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what y'all was thinking, you know. But we're going to pick Green Bay Playbook. We're going to get into it. This might take some time, so bear with me. This is my first time doing something like this. Okay, boom. <laughs> Let's see. But I'm going to try to make a guess. I, I'm, I'm going to assume... Anderson Griffin got the biggest biggest feet, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to realize that a lot of people don't got their shoe size online, which is weird. Which is gonna make this even harder to hunt down, bro. Like a few moments later. So I found a post on Reddit that said, you know, Chris Jones in high school. It said somebody had a picture. Somebody had to like a uh, sign memorabilia of his cleats or something, and his cleats in high school said 15 and a half. So I'm gonna leave it at 15 and a half for Chris Jones, and we gonna see what Everson at. But like I said, it's gonna be hard to find these dudes. Okay, Everson Griffin is put at 14. I saw one thing on Google, and then his Mac Prep High School said something about 14. Then something on, you know, Wikipedia said something about 14 and a half with his Nike contract. I don't know, but obviously Chris Jones is the highest one. You know, I'm. It's gonna take a while. That took me like 10, 15 minutes, and we got 20 rounds, bro. You know, like I'm not gonna Google all three of them. Like we, I, I'm pretty sure. Tavon Austin, 5'8", you know, his feet not near this fullback or Antonio Gates, which I'm pretty sure Antonio Gates might be bigger, but it could, like, why, why is it so hard to find a pro athlete shoe size on the internet? Like, I type in any basketball player, it come right up. Okay, I never thought this would be so hard, but we found out, I found this is the easiest route. I'm on eBay now. So, right, but any player, I just type in his name and I type in cleats. And like, I try to find like a signed pair of his shoes and just see what size it is or something. Cause that's the, is there nothing on Google? Like they just keep taking me to Nike press, but Antonio Gates were a size 15, which is low key big, you know? And Keith Smith, we gonna see what size. Okay, I could not find Keith Smith's on the internet, but just looking at their size, six feet, six four, you know what I'm saying? Antonio Gates is 270, this dude, I mean, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe my man Keith Smith do got some big feet, you feel me? Maybe he do got some big feet. For a little dude, but just because we couldn't find his, I'm gonna go with the size 15 and turn on Gates. Now the only one from this round I could find was Tevin Coleman. Tevin Coleman wears a size 12 and a half. He's Mike six Wallace, one. you know, I didn't really look him up. But Eifert 6'6, six, six, I'm gonna just assume Eifert is bigger. Like, like no homo. I'm not lying, saying like Eifert is like bigger, like in that area. I'm gonna assume his shoe is bigger, you know. But yeah, I'm gonna just assume Eifert is, is, is bigger than Coleman. Like, you know, we just gotta. You know what I'm saying? I forgot that big, them big old things on them. Bruh. This is actually gonna be a good round. So we got an all rod receiver round. Jordy Nelson, 6'3", Michael Crafty, 6'1", Larry Fitzgerald, 6'3". Let's see. Let's, let's see who got the biggest feet, coach. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Jordy Nelson. Where's a size 16 cleat? According to JS Online, you know what I'm saying? 80 yard touchdowns on the third one. You're wearing a size 16 shoe. There's only so many turns you can take. Big boy? I thought what they said about your people was, uh, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they was making y'all seem like y'all was, you know, but you got some big feet on you, boy. So according to NFL.com, the pre-draft measurables, they measure hand size, they don't measure feet size. So what I'm gonna do, like if I can't find 
their foot size, I'm gonna just go to the NFL.com and uh, get their hand size, which is, I couldn't find it on their foot. Alex Smith hand size is nine and three eight inches. Matt Ryan hand size is nine and one half, 9.5, nine and a half inches. So you know what I'm saying? My boy got a nine and a half inch cannon on him. You know what I'm saying? He doing his thing. Bro, just when I was talking about D-Lyman, we get a D-Lyman who has the biggest foot in this round. But I really wish I could have got Mark. Is there a team in the hold up? Is there when did this team in the week Mark Barron come out? Is this the team in the week from this week? And they already put it in draft chance, but Jesus, I really wish we could have got him. But Geno Atkins just he bigger than both of these dudes. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He got that confidence. You know, he just be like this. He got that, he got that locker room confidence. But then my man Lane Johnson. At least look, at least Matt Ryan gonna be protected. Alright, last round. They gave us all freaking brutes, bro. Y'all already probably already knew looking at these two. They both 6'5", so it was close. I was looking like, hmm, who gonna get it? But it's actually DeMarcus Ware actually has a wider and bigger foot than him, you know what I'm saying? Willie McGinnis, it was big, but, like, he was real solid. DeMarcus Ware, if y'all know him, he was a little bit more, like, bigger. Like, a little bit. He he, he had that meat on him, but Willie McGinnis was a real just solid-ass linebacker, if y'all don't know. But we got to go with DeMarcus Ware. I, I wish we could have got McGinnis. He's a, he's better in coverage. DeMarcus Ware more of a pass, bro. But we going to get into it, man. 82 overall, not bad. But it's, it's, I'm ready to eat, man. Let's go. Here go. Jesus Christ. He got, he got a good drive. We got a decent drive too, but he got a good drive. Ah, oh let's go. Shepard, show them big feet off. Oh, show them big feet off. Pride. We should have a lot of pride. It should be confidence. Nothing but confidence on this team. With, the, with how big they feet is. They should have nothing but confidence, boy. All right, let's go. Look like he ran commit. Spencer? Spencer? Oh, we tried to get the juice. Oh yeah, that's easy flat. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use a flat. I'm a bro. Look how he's hitting me. And it might look like I got some stuff glowing on me. Like I said, that's the sun, bro. Just you know, it's, it's sunlight outside, you know. Uh, I, it's, it's the sunlight. We are gonna go to hatback draw though. I mean, that's just easy, man. Well, Spencer, you see how he just jumped? He just. Huh? All right, y'all. Well, I didn't even realize this dude quit the game. So let me tell you what happened. You know, I got this Starbucks dropped off to me because I was trying to get my energy. You know what I'm saying? And then I was talking to her about, you know, what she just did. I'm like, how was your day? And then I look over and I was just picking like, I could still look at the plays a little bit, but I wasn't really paying attention. Next thing I know, he quit the game. I didn't need to know how did it become 4th and 31. I know I was sitting in that heat. I know I was probably locking him up, but I don't know. I just looked over and just see the dude quit. And I just wanted to say, y'all, I'm sorry, man. It's crazy. Y'all, like, what you apologizing for? Like, I'm sitting here, and it's crazy because it. I know exactly how y'all be feeling. Like, I know, like, y'all y'all be looking at me, don't think I know how y'all be feeling. Like, a lot of y'all like me and mess with me, but I know y'all be like, dang, did this, does, does he ever lose? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on a 29-game win streak. With my with my uh 90 my guy squad budget ballers be five and zero you know them I, they, it was three and zero these draft champs I just want to know like you know and then it, then it's like the last time I lost was like three weeks ago uh yeah I just be feeling like should I lose on purpose sometimes so like yeah. and like I want y'all to be on on edge like like this just a little bit like ooh ooh will he lose I want y'all to be like well he, but but that's how it is sometimes like you know 29 game win streak what am I supposed to do about that All right, here we go Heisenbergers. Why does that sound familiar? Like it's a disease or something, like or like an illness. The Heisen. That, that, let me know in the comments. That got to be something. That sounds too familiar. Heisenberger, or Doofenshmirtz, Evil Incorporated. No, that's not it. I thought it was Doofenshmirtz, but that's not it. Heisenberger. I don't know. Let me know if y'all know what that is, bro. Oh yeah, that's Jordy. Jordy, oh, you got to get there. You can't have all that confidence and have big feet like that just throwing, throwing, overthrowing. But I understand. You don't, you don't got that throwing to run. I understand that. Let's go. I see that right there, though. That man, Jordy, that man wears a size 16. That dude, Jordy Nelson still blows. That, that still blows me away because he's only like 
Six two, six three. Like you know, that's that's some big feet. I know a lot of y'all see me run bunch a lot, man. Like, can you get out of bunch? I'm sorry, y'all. I just love bunch. Uh, you can make your own reads. It, it's just a beautiful playbook, man. I, I just think it's a beautiful formation. Here we go, man. We gonna run that power. See, I, oh, good block here, good defense. I gotta forget about that. I keep forgetting about that. We drafted a bunch of O linemen, like. Our whole right side of our old line is nothing but elite. So we got to start running that rock. Just run the ball to the right side, you know? We got to work towards our advantage. Like, here, right? Look at it. Look, look, look at us. We got the brutes out there. You got to play to your strengths, kids. You got to, kids. You got to. Oh, I tried to cut it off. Ah, let's go, Sean Smith. Oh, oh, he has my wide open. He has. Oh, oh I dropped it by timing. Oh, good read, good find. That's just beautiful. That's that's a beautiful play. That's beautiful. Oh, McKinney let us down. Whoa! Whoa, no! people to be phenomenal you don't Dude, pay good people to be that's phenomenal. how you play deep bro you just are phenomenal and you will attract phenomenal Ooh. what reason i need it you ain't think you was gonna throw that out route to the tight end like you did last time did you buddy come on man all right we back no more fumbling please don't give him no clue we get in the end zone it's game over all right we gonna run the rock just because we have the team to do it yes sir yes sir yes sir spencer stay today stay today one more Ooh. That's why you, bro, I might have to start drafting old linemen. I might have to start drafting old linemen, bro. It makes it seem like, after the pack, it makes it seem like if you just get the necessary pieces with the, the right stats, you should be like, you know what I'm saying, beast in any car, basically. Hopefully, don't block this. All right. Oh, that should be a pick. He's throwing it right. Like, like these, these are the reads I'm talking about now. Like, come on, like, it, it, it comes a point where it gotta be like, bro, like, you, you feel me? Like, I got the curl over here, I gotta watch this. Let's go, DRC! DR, bro, big boy plays! Read that all the way, that's why you get to DRC, but one question I do got for all y'all boys, that's gonna be a touchdown, 21-10. Do y'all think speed is starting to matter a lot more? I know in the beginning of the year, everybody just wanted 91 zone and speed didn't matter. But now that receivers are getting faster, quarterbacks are getting more throw power. <coughs> it seems like even when I play, even if I do have an 86, no, you know, a 91 zone corner, if they're slow, they, they're still getting burnt on routes now because these faster receivers and the, the quarterbacks have more throw power and more You know the higher the throw power is the quicker the ball gets there y'all So if you have a 91 zone corner that, that's slow, but he got 91 zone It seemed like the 91 zone don't really mean nothing no more. They're not bad So it seemed like speed mixed with the 91 zone is gonna be the move now Nope my boy that conceded the game. Love all y'all boys. That will conclude it for the biggest speed draft. Let me know what other drafts y'all want to see. Follow me on Twitter to let me know. At me. I read all y'all comments. Smack a like. But until then, it's your boy J-Mail Flow. A.K.A. Mr. Let's Get It. Let's go. <laughs>